week two of the Running Reborn Coaching Technique Challenge. This week it's all about posture. We know that if we get good posture, we create a lot of elasticity in the body and we create a lot of gravity. The guys have been out practicing, the videos are in. Let's take a look, see how they've done. Go to a new beach, give me a new tan. I'ma write down every single thought. I goes on my wall, I win, I never fall. I've been gone for a minute. Okay, week two of the Running Reborn Technique Challenge and it's posture. Let's see what you got, Sam. Unchanged, unfazed and unwilling. It's a new day, it's a new world, we all winning. I'm up late, up early, I gotta get it. Keep working, now we gotta make a million. Go get it, you got it. Well done, Justin. You won the first week, but now it's on to posture. So let's see what we got. So the guys have been out practicing a lot, I know, because I've been chatting to them. They've sent me their videos and I've had a look at those. So that's been good fun. Uh, so posture, why, why, what is posture and why is it important? So posture is essentially how we hold ourselves when we're running. And it's really, really important that we get a good tall posture when we're running because that kind of engages the elastic system in our body. And this tensegrity effect of our body, if we get that good, it kind of means that our body takes its own weight and the muscles don't have to kind of join in a scaffolding. So, Justin, tell us about your week practicing posture. How did it go? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's been really good. I think the um, what's is quite mad is that you, you know you've been focusing a lot on the foot, but when you come to the posture, uh, I noticed that when I was trying to really create that bow, that my feet, uh, when I noticed some of the actual footage back, was doing old habits. So when you actually concentrate more on one element, I found that everything that I worked hard on on my foot or my head was slightly changing because I was overthinking it. But uh, I think I think I've I've got I've got a bow now. So, <laughs> Congratula congratulations! But you, you are right. Once you plug one gap or think about one thing, and then another thing kind of escapes. But actually, the the MP3 recording that we did the other day. That's why I kind of did that because that really helps you to think of things in a sequence. And if you get used to things in a sequence it's a lot easier to remember and kind of keep you on the straight and narrow. Okay. So good. Sam, how about you? Good or bad? Yeah, uh, both. I think as, <laughs> Justin, <laughs> as Justin said, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot to think about. And um, looking, looking at the videos back, I was like, I'm getting onto that forefoot again. I'm going to have to do that well, again. Interestingly, it's a lot. The foot contact is a lot better than it was last time because I had a good look at that as well. Because I'm always looking, and actually, that's a lot better. To be fair, it was only take 18 or something like that that I sent you, so not too bad. <laughs> no, the the thing that I also found really interesting was the the eye line because I think I look at the floor quite a lot, and having that default as up, mm. um, and then obviously glancing down when you need to is something really fundamental that I've taken and uh, I found that good to practice, yeah. Yeah, because I guess the head really is the last part of the posture, isn't it? So we need that eye line up because that's the last part of your elastic chain. Really, really important. So good. One of the big cues we talk about all the time is this centre line. We're always thinking about our centre line and putting a bow into our centre line uh, and almost imagining that bungee cord pulling us forward as we create that bow. So Justin, I know you've been talking about your center line and I, I believe uh, you have given it a name and a color. Is that, is that right? Uh, I've certainly given it a name. I call it Agincourt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, I've coached over 3000 runners and I've never heard that name. <laughs> well, during the battle of Agincourt, they used the long bows and that's why I've got this long bow. Oh, and I, nice. just, I just literally thought, you know, the long bows is what, you know, conquered. Uh, in the English one, so Agincourt is what it came up with, and, and it's red. It's red, okay. Well, yeah. good name, uh, but for those listeners out there, it's not all about the size of your bow, okay? Uh, just getting a good bow is good. It doesn't have to be a big one, so that's good. Sam, what about yourself? How's your relationship with your sense of life? Um, a lot more simplistic, I think. <laughs> I quite <Mine>, good. Uh... <laughs> Um, mine, I, I, I have a tendency to, to not be brave in, in races. And I thought that's when I'll call on my center lines when I'm really pushing myself. So I looked to someone who was maybe a bit brave as a sportsman or even a bit arrogant, some might say, um, and the, the famous Michael Jordan. So mine is Jordan. 
Okay. And, um, and I, you know, I love red and I love blue. So I thought, right, Jordan is purple. And that's my, that's my center line, the purple Jordan. Oh, nice. Excellent. Good. Well, you're obviously bonding with your center lines. And of course, that's the whole point is that every time you go for a run, you almost ease yourself into that center line. And that makes sure you put nice elastic tension into the body and get nice and tall. So good. So I've watched the videos and actually I have to say, and I'm not being kind here, both pretty good, pretty good. Um, and for different reasons, actually. So for Justin's, and obviously everybody will get to see these videos. So Justin, yours, um, you were really accentuating that kind of center line and really getting height into your body. Um, and you know, what's really interesting about fashion and elasticity is when you load your elastic system, you only really maximize its potential when you get it, take it to the last 20% of its range of motion. Okay. So in fact, if you both do this, if you both just put your hand onto your chest like so, okay. And now just take your index finger and just hit yourself on the chest with your index finger. Yeah. So you're using your muscles to do that, to, to hit yourself. Now you can't make too much impact there or too much pressure. If you actually take your thumb, and just pull your finger back just a little bit and let it snap. That creates a lot more pressure and that's elastic energy. Now, if you take your finger back as far as it will go and let it snap, and it creates a lot more. So what that shows us is if you put your body into a beautiful position, elastic recoil starts to happen. But that elastic recoil is only really maximized when it goes into its last 20% of that range of motion. So Justin, when I watch your video, I think you're going right into that 20% without a doubt. You're really accentuating that bow, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I think I'd really try to like, push the chest and stretch and yeah, do all that, definitely, yeah. Try and emulate, yeah. emulate what I've seen some, obviously, you know, the African runners, you know, in a 10 on some of the videos. I mean, that bow they have is, is you know, is, is amazing. Yeah, it was really good, very good. What I did see from that video was you were actually running pretty quick as well, or it looked quick because there was lots of air and it was very big and very dynamic. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd probably, I'd probably running faster for the sake of that video because I probably had a bit of a run up in a park when I'm running for more distance. It probably wouldn't be of that pace consistent. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. And then Sam, when I look at Sam's, and obviously you've, you've seen each other's, Sam, when I look at yours, I think there is a nice bow there. I mean, you're actually moving at a, a, a relatively slower pace, aren't you, I think, in, in your video? Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. I had yeah. a, a little place I was trying to find in my park. It's actually quite hard to find a flat place that I can film and not worry about my camera being nicked. So <laughs> that, was a, that was a good bit that I found. Um, okay. Yeah, so, so the pace was slower. And what's interesting to see is that actually the pace was slower, there was less oscillation, so less stride length, that's what actually makes the pace slower. And so there was less of a bow, because to go faster, we make everything bigger, don't we? And then to go slower, we just dumb everything down. So you were actually running at two different paces from each other, and actually had more accentuated bow and, and more accentuated posture. So it's really good, actually, when we look at these videos and, and, and we do the judging and when everybody watches these, you can actually see that to go faster, you make things bigger and to go slower, you just dumb them down a little bit. So actually, they were both very good. Um, one was very good, very accentuated for moving very fast. And one was very good for just slowing things down and making it a little bit more subtle. So genuinely likes both of them. So on the basis of that, I'm actually going to call this one a draw because you both, you both did a good job. And actually from, a, from, a, from people watching, it's a great lesson from them because you've actually got two different speeds going on. So you both nailed it. Good work. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to so, make the next couple of weeks very interesting. Well, true. Yeah, true. I like that. Sam, it's nice for you to get a marker on the board as well. But uh, you know, good work on that footfall as well, because as we build up through these challenges, we're not going to take our eye off the previous things learned. And Justin, as you said, once you start to think of something, another thing kind of can go wrong. So we should develop this skill of building up our thought processes and thinking of things as we as we move on. Excellent. So really, really good. Next week, I like it. 
next week what is it sam next week i think is it arms arms, arms. arms. Yeah. Next week. Okay. you know I, I believe you run with your arms so i there are no there's no room for error on this guys i want the arms beautiful all right all right we'll take that away and uh, get prats in and I'll see i'm looking you forward to seeing the videos yeah, see you guys next week no, no, no.